All right, today we're gonna to be practicing how many tens and how many ones. Our goal is to be able to write the numbers with tens and ones, but also show you the quantity, show you how many each number represents. So we're gonna get started right away, but I'm gonna show you what tens and ones actually look like, how you can draw tens and how you can draw ones. That's what we're gonna do first, okay? So for tens, I just like to do a stick. If you've ever played with um, place value cubes, place value blocks, you notice they're long sticks for the tens and the ones are usually just a little cube and I'm just gonna do dots for the ones. Okay, so go ahead and write the, your name up at the top of your page. You can always pause if you need more time. My name is Ms. Jackie. Oops. So if you need more time, go ahead and pause. I'm gonna go on and start writing tens and ones. And remember, I'm gonna draw a 10 like a stick and ones like a dot, okay? So I'm gonna get started right away. And in this box, I am going to write the number. My first number that I'm gonna do is the number 46. 46 is a four and a six. I start at the top and I go down and around, 46. Now, when I look at this number, I know this is how many tens and this is how many ones. You start from the ones, ones and then tens. And since there are six ones, I'm gonna do that in the ones column. I'm gonna draw six ones. And I like to do them in a straight line, it helps me. And I can do it like this, one, two, three, four, five. That's, if you were to do a tens frame, there would be five and one. That makes the number six. Okay, so I have six ones, and you can be doing this on yours too. Now, how many tens do I have? That's right, I have four tens. So I'm gonna do four sticks is what I call them. So those are four tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, so now I have four tens and six ones. That makes the number 46. If I want to count this, I go like this. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Okay, let's go on and do another number. The next number we are gonna do is 29, 29. Now, 20 is that first number I'll write. It uh, shows you how many tens there are. 20 and then nine. I start by making a C. And then I go up, down for my nine, 29. I wrote 29 and you can be doing this with me, 29. Now, when I look at this number, I know how many tens and how many ones, okay? And I like to start with the ones. I like to draw my ones like a tens frame. It helps me see and I can identify right away, super fast, how many there are. And in a tens frame, there are five on top and five on the bottom. So I'm gonna start, I'm making the number nine and it has more than five. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now I have nine ones for my number 29, but I need to now show you how many tens there are. 10, but it's not just 10, it's two tens. So I need 10, 20. I need two tens, two sticks here. So let's count 10, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Awesome work, you're doing a great job. You can always pause if you need more time to draw this as well. 
The next number I'm going to write is the number 51. 51. When I write a five, I like to do it like a stick, then a big belly and put a hat up top, on top of the belly so that it doesn't get rained on. So 51. 51. Okay, I have a five and a one. So uh, how many ones do I have in this number? Is this the ones or is this the ones? Right, this is the ones. And I only have one. Only one one. And now how many tens do I have? I have five tens. So I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I have one, two, three, four, five five tens. So I have 50 and 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 51. 51 drawn out with my tens and ones. Okay, this is how you can draw it for a place value chart. All right, let's go on to the next one. My next number is the number 38. Up here I'm going to do 38. 30 Ooh, 30 is a three and eight is um, eight, of course. So when I do my eight, I like to do it by drawing an S first and then go up and touch. Okay, if you want, you can pause it, try to draw your tens and ones and see if I do the same thing. Okay, now I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do my, uh, my ones first. I have eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I have eight ones. I might want to check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, definitely have eight. And now I need how many tens? I need three. So one, two, three, makes 10, 20, 30. All right, now I have 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Got the number 38. I hope yours looks like that too. It's okay if not, but try again. All right, let's go on to the next number. This time we're gonna do the number 70. Now listen really carefully, 70, not 17, it's 70, okay? 70 is a seven and a zero. When it ends with that T, it means it's the number of tens versus 17 means you only have a 10, but this is seven tens, okay? So 7D. All right, now how many ones do I have? Zero, so I'm gonna have no ones, no ones at all. Now I'm going to my tens. How many tens am I gonna have? Seven, okay, just like the tens frame, I'm gonna do five up top and then two at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Listen to that again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. They end with T, not teen. Make sure we don't make that error, right? It's a tricky one. Okay, last one, I'm gonna do the number 15. Okay, I hear that teen, that means there's a 10. Okay, 15, I'm gonna do that five again, right? I go down and around and put it up top. Look, this is 51 and this is 15, very different. Okay, so I'll start with my ones. How many ones do I have? Five, one, two, three, four, five ones. And how many tens? Just one. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
You all did a great job on your tens and ones. I'm so proud of you. Keep up the great work.